Will we go through them now? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Um, this lesson was called... Uh, electric field potentials. The potentials. Oh, I know what the last one is. It's the electron fired at the proton. Yeah, me gusta. Right. I like making them questions like this. Makes me happy. Uh, okay, we got a uh, rubber or a power or something to put under projector, please. Anything? Yes. In uh, on the di on the disc on the circle. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That'll do nicely. Oh, well, the first one and two are easy peasy. Easy peasy. So let's, let's do them with not much trouble. Um, so, Omar. We did one and two. No, we did one. Yeah, well, I'm going to do the answers now. Yeah. No, yeah. we did one and we gave the answer. I did, did I? I did yeah. something like number one. Like it. Yeah. yeah. It's easy. Uh, Omar, how do you do number one? Explain to the class of three students. Or do you know how to? <coughs> yeah, how'd you get the answer? That's fine. Yeah, how? What, 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 in other words, what do I type on my calculator? Uh, 2.5. You are not Omar. You wish you were Omar, but you're not Omar. Now, if Omar doesn't know, that's fine. You can give it to me. Omar, do you know what you did? I don't see answer to that. I don't really think I'm going to Okay, no problem. Uh, now, Faisal, what do you do? Point 0.5. Yeah. Time. Yeah. Uh, shift 723. Times the E constant. Yeah. So you get 4 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Right, Yusuf, the next one. What do you do? Divide by 1. Just this thing here, 1.5 times 10 to the minus, to the power 20 at 9. Yeah. Yeah? No, it's 9, not minus 9. Because now, right? Now it's minus 9? Yeah. Okay, then. <laughs> and then? then? Divide by 1.5 times 10 to the power. The E constant. That's quite big. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to make it mega. No. Giga. Nine point three six giga electron volt. Oh, the e constant. Yeah. No, the e constant is different from the number. What? Did you guys? I remember Faisal saying you got this answer yesterday, right? It's not one point six times. No, it's not the other day. Minus yeah, for the E constant, but this is nano, yeah. so it's minus 9. When you use uh, the E from the calculator, it's already... My notes, my notes, when E electron volt equals 1.6. Oh, you wrote that down wrong. Yes, but uh, check your calculator for the exact value. It's constant 23. Okay, next. Yes, Omar, next. Omar. Oh, dude, no, sorry, you're too late to take my class. We were on this street for 17 minutes on the bus. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to be strict about it. It's a painful lesson you must learn. Life sucks. I'm sorry. This bus is full. I know it is, I know it is. And life is doing... I would jump on the number Would you like to feet. join them? No, I'm sorry, guys, I know it sucks, but uh, I need to be a little bit strict about these things. In future, you could maybe take the earlier bus. This this is the earliest bus you can take it's not the time. earliest bus because it starts at 5 a.m. the bus service, okay? <laughs> if you mean, mean say it's the earliest bus you're willing to wake up for. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later. Ah, no, 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 leave me alone, okay? Um, three, what is the potential energy in electron volts of a proton, which is equal distance between two parallel plates, separate a millimeter with potential of nine volts? So, who knows how to do this one? Mm, no. 
This is one millimeter. This is nine volts. And this is a proton. Oh, it's not QV because it's not a proton. Now it all makes sense. So what formula is it? QV. Mm -hmm. The vote E, which is V over D. I know, like I said, stuff, guys, life sucks. And the distance? Uh, it's half uh, a millimeter. So actually, I don't really need my calculator too much because these cancel, and you're left with 4.5 E. And uh, because I want the energy in electron volts, it's done. Uh, the answer is 4.5 electron volts. Because if you think about it, if I multiply this by E, it's in joules. And then to make an electron volt, I divide by E, which yeah. kind of leaves me back at 4.5. So uh, 4.5 electron volts is the answer. Which is pretty sweet. Can you just open the door to make sure there's not waiting outside? There's a waiting outside. Have a peek there. No, I don't think so. Now have a peek. What is this? I don't know what I'm going to do. Are they outside or not? Yeah. Oh, no, no, I need you to be serious. Are they outside? Who's out there? This is Andrew. Andrew. This show and Andrew. Dude, yeah. come in. I got you back. Same later. I made him feel bad about him. <laughs> now, uh, we're looking at the physics tutorial. So, that's question one, two, three, now on to uh, four. Uh, how fast would an electron be travelling if it leaves a negative plate and strikes a positive plate two centimetres away in a distance, uh, potential difference of 12 volts? So, I'll draw it this way now for a change. This is 12 volts. And this is 2 centimetres. And this is an electron. And the electron is fired across and it hits here. So the kinetic energy here will equal the potential energy here, and what's the potential energy here? Q V. And the kinetic energy here? And what did I say I wanted in the question? Mm. So I can say V equals two Q V over M square root. Uh, which is nice, which is nice because um, I know the Q is E, I know the V is 12, and I know the M is constant 3. Something went wrong for you, I think? Two thousand and fifty kilometers per second. Just a little. Did you write did you write that down? No, you don't. I'm too kind. It's my weakness. Right, Lee?
Are we going to discuss the questions we have? Do you know? I think we will. If you have some questions we want to do, I think we'll do them after these. That's fair enough. Uh, physics or math? Physics, yeah. We'll do that then. Okay, can we do number five now? Yeah. Number five. How long would it take for a proton to travel from a positive plate to a negative plate um, if the distance between the plates were a millimeter and the voltage was 25 volts? So again, I'll just draw it vertically for a change. 25 volts and the distance, what did I just say? A millimeter. And I'm looking for the time it takes the proton to move across. Yeah? So, let me see. Um, I could go for UVATS. Why not? The U is zero. The V I don't know. The A I don't know. The T I don't know. The S I do know. So if I had one more thing here, I'm done. I have enough info. Mm. B is the easiest thing to get because I can just do the exact same thing I did a moment ago. In fact, it's still on my calculator. I just need to change what exactly. It's, it's the 12, isn't it? Uh, the 12 becomes 25, is it? That's the only difference. Um, let me put this in 10 to 2.9. 7 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. So, what did I say I was looking for? The T, was it? What would be the best formula to use? Get the T. S equals, maybe? No. V squared e No. So, I want the T. Um, how about S equals U plus V over 2 times T? <coughs> The one that's not used so much, this one. Because I know U and V and I want the T, so the T is S over U plus V over 2. Uh, the S is a millimeter. Why not 2S? Why not 2S? I never mind. Well, no, I can bring the 2 up. You can't say why not, never mind, and told you. You do not go together. And then U is already zero, so it's just this down the bottom. Uh, so that will be... Yeah, it should be, because it's going really fast between a sh uh, over a short distance. Let's go for not nano. What's after nano? Pico, isn't it? 673 pico seconds. Weren't we supposed to divide that by two? I brought the two up to the top. I took it off. Uh, yeah, if I didn't, yeah, divide this denominator by two, yeah. <coughs> It's okay. Uh, last one. I made a bit of a mistake in the description, but I cleared that up last time. So you've got an electron being fired, isn't That's it? It is not FISO, you lion son of a gun. <laughs> Uh, one place is blah blah blah, an electron, yeah. So, what I wasn't making clear in the question is that the bottom plate must be positive because the electron is being pulled back down, but I explained that in the class, so it fires up, comes back down like that. Um, what else did I tell you in the question? Uh, the angle is 45. And the speed is a kilometer per second. So initially, this is 1,000 meters per second, and the angle of 45. Um, and the plate is 10 centimeters. And the electron just about misses the negative plate. So actually, in my picture, I really should have it going like this. It just about misses the top plate. And this distance here is 10 centimeters. So do you think that's 
yeah, if we're looking, what we're going to do is we'll look at the electron up here. Uh, so should we look horizontally or vertically? Vertically. The U is what? Vertically. Uh, the vertical component. A thousand? Yeah, you were right the first time. V? No, we don't need no. mm -hmm. oh, yeah. A? Well, no, because there are two things forcing it down. You see, yeah, F equals MA, so A equals F over M. But you have uh, two forces acting on this, the weight and the force from the electric field. Now the weight is mg, and the force from the electric field is eq. So the m's cancel here and you get g plus eq over m. So g is 9.81, I divided both of these by m. Let's see what this is, I have a feeling it would be quite big. So what is the formula for e? We don't know actually, because I think that's what we're looking for. Oh, I mean the E is V over D. So what you end up saying is uh, the A is Q plus VQ over MD. And the uh, V we know or don't know? No, the V is what we're looking for in the question. No. Yeah, isn't it? Voltage. Well, yeah, what is the voltage? Uh, the Q we do know, what is it? It's E. Uh, electron, the M we do know, and the D we do know. So I'll just write this as 9.81 plus, uh, and let's get a fraction here, 23 over proton, and the distance is 10. So that comes out to be 1.76 times 10 to the 12. V, and we don't know what the V is. So the acceleration is 9.81 plus 1.76 times 10 to the 12 V. Now th this might be controversial, but in fact I can drop the 9.81 from the acceleration formula. Why? Yeah, it's very small. I mean, it's it's uh, a trillion times smaller than this term. So any rounding would completely remove it. So did we have to include it? From the no, we didn't have to. We could have dropped it from the very start. No, because the mass of the electron is so small. So we can drop it. We'll drop it and we'll have acceleration is 1.76 times 10 to the 12 times whatever the voltage is. The T we don't know and the S we do know it's 0.10. So, what so formula? Where is hmm? the A the voltage? No, it's this times the voltage. Okay. Uh, I don't know what the V is in my formula to work out the acceleration from the field. Um, so what formula should I use here to put these four terms together? Well, any formula that doesn't have T in it, really. Mm -hmm. V squared, yeah. So you get V squared equals U squared plus 2a f so rearranging that um, yeah sorry it's a negative because it's going down thankfully so I get v will equal big fraction 1000 over root 2 squared, which obviously is going to be 1, oh, 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 a million over 2, which is 500,000, divided by 2 times 1.76 times 10 to the 12 times 0 0.1 equals. So half a million divided by 2 times 1.76 times 10 to the power of 12, times 0 0.1, and we get a small number, but we should, should we get a small number? Get a small number, I guess. 1.42 microvolts.
No, 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 there's voltage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but that would make sense because if it's a big uh, voltage, then yeah, the should be able to. Yeah, exactly. That doesn't make sense. Good. If it was a big voltage, it would just go. Yeah. yeah. You have to give it a chance to get to the top. But isn't the acceleration really high? It is really high. So, shouldn't it? <coughs> but the initial velocity was pretty high too. A thousand meters per second. And the distance is only ten centimeters. The initial velocity. Yeah, so the initial velocity was high and the acceleration is really high. Yeah. So so I expect the time, if we work out the time, to be tiny. Because it's fired quite fast, but as you point out, the acceleration is quite strong. So I'll quickly de decelerate, but because the initial velocity was so high, it should, like a thousand meters per second, it's not too hard to imagine it moved ten centimeters before crashing back down, even with a high deceleration. Um, I would expect this time to be tiny, like picoseconds. Out of curiosity, let's calculate it. What would be the easiest way to get the time? Uh, B equals U plus AT. So, 0 equals 1000 root, uh, over root 2 uh, plus A T. So then the t will be a thousand over root two over one point seven six times ten to the twelve. Huh? Oh, are you put in the wrong number. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Uh, which I worked out as one point four two times ten to the minus six. That's what you were saying, is it? No, it's going to be at voltage. No, 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 no. I know what they're talking about. They're right. And also it's a minus, right? Ah, yeah, no, I fixed the sign. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about the minus. No, I mean, like, it's a minus. It's not multiplied. Like no, but I, I took the this term to the left and yeah. divided by this term. No, don't worry. I know what I'm doing. This part, last part is fine. Oh. Bigger than I thought. Way bigger than I thought. 283 nanosec uh, uh, microseconds. There you go. Speedy. Uh, microseconds. Okay. I've seen this question on the exam. That's why I put it in there. Now that you've seen it, you realize. Oh, it wasn't too bad. Which is kind of the key problem in physics. Because now you're thinking, huh, physics, so easy. Totally don't have to do anything, but this is the old subject. I know you're thinking that. Can't fool me. Can you do that? We can do that, yep. Yeah, the results are I think Yahi is first in the queue though. Because he probably asked me first. Is it? Super. Give me the question and I will do it. That could all change. Could still all change. What's the question? Give me the info and I'll do it. This is the question. Yeah, I'm taking it Yeah, I'm taking it there's nothing about materials. Okay, I believe you. Just give me the question. Uh, a 5 ohm resistor. Which one is it? A4. Seems And how long do you think we'll be able to finish? And how many more weeks? How many lessons are left in this? 
We just did Trey, didn't we? Mm. Like, are we going to finish right before the exams, or are we going to have like a week or two? How many weeks do we have left? Four. Mm. It's not looking like there'll be much, if any, revision time. Um, one, two, three, four, five. It'll take. It'll take. Almost. Almost four weeks, because this would be almost two weeks. And then what's left in fields. You see, these are big lessons here. Although these ones are quite small. Where are we? One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. We might, might just about squeeze it into three weeks and leave one week for revision. This is usually what happens. Usually. What about, uh, All ICT lessons are not the maths I wouldn't worry so much about because what we we're, we're finished. We have trigonometry, statistics, vectors. and vectors. Ah, yeah, don't worry. We'll definitely get a week <coughs> for our revision for maths. If we get the maths finished sooner, we'll just convert them to physics lessons. Try to give a week revision of a uh, week of exam practice to vote. Okay. Um, Continue. Five ohms. Five ohm resistors mm -hmm. connected across the cell and the current of 0 0.36 appears to go through the cell. Okay, so let me just draw that first. So you have your five ohm resistor. Yes. Uh, so, and it's connected to a cell. Yes. And the current flowing in the cell? 0 0.36. Uh-huh. When a 4 ohm resistor is connected in parallel with a 5 ohm resistor. And then you come along and stick in a 4 ohm as well. Yeah. So this is 5 and this is 4, huh? And the current changes to 0 0.485. 0 0.485 now. Okay, so this cell has a voltage and it also has a little resistor inside it and this is the same cell it too has a uh, voltage the same voltage and the same internal resistor so let's Kirchhoff our way to the answer here I use Kirchhoff's loop rule I start with the E so I get E and then next minus I R yeah oh. I R 0 0.365 minus 0 0.36 or equals 0. So then I get E minus 0 0.36 or equals 0 0.365. Here it's the same except I should add these resistors together first. 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5 and let me see put that over 20. 5 over 20 plus 4 over 20 which is 9 over 20 so the resistance is 20 over 9. Okay, so for this one, you get E minus 0 0.485 times 20 over 9 minus 0 0.485 or equals 0. So this equation is E minus 0 0.485 or equals 0 0.485 20 over 9. So what I've done is I've produced two equations with E and R in it. If I take out my trusty Casio calculator, and what is it? Mode? No. Shift mode? No. Mode 50. No. One. One. Minus 0 0.36. 0 0.36 times 5, 1 minus 0 0.485, 0 0.485 times 20 divided by 9. So I just typed in the simultaneous equations and uh, what do they want in the question? The E or the R? 
So the E, well, the E first is 3.88 volts. Can we do that in the exam? Can we just the after the No, because you'll get one mark for some method of solving simultaneous. And the calculator does not count. Uh, and then the OR is shockingly big. 5.78 ohms. That seems outrageous. I don't know what the answer is. The marking scheme is online too. Yeah, I... It, that's surprisingly big. Usually the OR is something quite small. Anyways, no matter. Does that answer your question? Does that mean the EMF of the cell? Done. The A. The voltage of the cell. Okay, thank you. Isn't there a formula for the internal I don't see no, there is, but really the, all the formula is is just Kirchhoff's first law. It's like, there's nothing really special, and I don't even necessarily know if it's particularly useful. So, yes, there is a formula, but the formula may be exactly the same thing as what I just wrote down using Kirchhoff's loop law, you know? Do you know what the formula is? You see, you don't, and I don't either, because no, I... It's not the no, I know, but I'm saying I don't, <coughs> meaning I'm able to get by in the physics class without knowing this formula. I know all the formulas I need to know to do the questions I need to do, and because I don't know this formula, it should tell you that you don't really need to know it to do the questions. Okay, you wrote that down? What else do you need to see if I saw... Oh, that was it. Uh, first, see, see first. 5C? Uh, no, I have one before. Uh, A7. Oh, so this is 10 centimeters and this is 10 centimeters, correct? Yeah. And uh, you said this has an extra three electrons? Surplus? Yeah, with excess. Excess three electrons, meaning its charge is minus three E. Oh. Uh, is that it? Anyways, <coughs> what am I looking for? Did you say the force? Assume the permittivity E is the same as... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. What's the question? The force. So there's two forces acting on this. Um, because this is negative and this is positive, there'll be a force to the left. And because this is negative and this is negative, there'll be a force to the left. So I'll write that as F to the left. Because it's attracted to the positive and it's repelled from the negative. So, um, it will be K, Q1, Q2 over R squared, and this is Q1, and this is Q2, and this is R. And nicely, the R is the same here, uh, but just be careful, if I'll call this Q3, the second one would be K, Q2, Q3 over R squared. 
Now, what's in common here? Uh, Q2, K, Q2, and R squared. And I'm left with Q1 plus uh, Q3. Now, be careful with the signs. Don't put the minus in here. Why not? Well, I already have considered the minus by drawing the arrow to the left and adding it to the F. So I've already accounted for the minus. If I put the minus in here, I'm accounting for it twice and m making a mistake. Uh, so that would be 8.99 times 10 to the 9 over 0 0.1 squared times E. No, uh, the charge 3 E's. And then this one will be 8 microns. So, 8. Eight point nine nine times ten to the power of nine divided by zero point one squared times three times e times eight times micro three point four six pico newtons. Yes. That's it, sir. Do you have the answers for these? Do you want me to check them? Might as well. For a laugh. Let's see if it's right. That has to take time. <laughs> okay, what's the next one? Right, so what is the launching info? Is it launched from a cliff or from the yeah. ground? Uh, no, ground. Oh, it's launched from ground level? No, no, no. no, no, no. So, yeah. yeah. The velocity is 18.6 at an angle of 40. The distance is uh, 0, no, it's 9.35 from the cliff to the ground. Like this? Yes. And the mass? The mass is 0 0.45 kilograms. And then determine the kinetic energy of the ball if it's the ground if it's... No problem. Easy peasy. Yeah, but then, didn't you say that uh, the potential energy is zero? At the ground? Yeah. So the kinetic energy, the energy at the end, is equal to the potential energy at the start plus the kinetic energy at the start. So the answer will be M G what? It is not, certainly not zero, because it's not at rest, right? Oh. What was the height? 9.35? Yeah. Done. Whatever this is on the calculator. Didn't think of that, huh? We used to do this in another way, right? So There's another way to do it. Much, much longer way. If you find the Vx and the Vy, and then get the V. How many marks for this question? Two. Because the, all the questions before give you the, the answer. But this is two, so it should be quick. Yeah. Yeah, but you already have the answers for the V, so you just put it in. Do you? The VX and VY? Yeah. Uh, you have. Fine, that's fine. If you do five, so then you can say this. But this is the method they use in the morning. That's fine, yeah. so you can say this. A half m um, V squared. And 
and then v is v y plus v x. Vx squared plus v y squared. So we take v as. What I have in the brackets is the root. So isn't the v eighteen point six? Eighteen point six. So all of the stuff. No, that's the u. That's the u. That's the initial velocity, not the final. That's what we have. We have the v's for that, or the u one and the v one. Yeah, but we got one of the questions asked us to find the velocity, so we have one of them. You only have one of them. You calculate it. We do. Do you have both when you get to that part of the question? No, only one. Ah, so then if I was in that situation, I wouldn't bother calculating the other one. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. You're gonna have to wrap it up. Only have a single class now. Oh, go on, quick, quick, quick. But this is for four marks. Go on. Okay. You don't think I could do it quickly? You doubt my ability? Determine the time taken for the mass to move directly from position two times ten power negative two meters below the equilibrium position to two times ten power negative two meters above the equilibrium. Is it horizontal or vertical? Is there a picture? It's a string. Aha. Wait, do it. Wait, use that. Right, we want to go from what times? From two above to two below. And it's times ten power negative two meters. Okay, okay. And what info do we know? We have the mass is zero point five. Yeah. Kg. Zero point one five. Sorry. Kg. And then spring constant. The spring constant we calculated. The spring constant is twenty six point one. Okay. What else do you need? I think that's it. The the first part in the question is the mass is the the thing is extended. The swing is extended by five point six. Ah no, not necessary. I don't and think. And then the mass is pulled down. Oh yeah. By two point five six. Past equilibrium. Yeah, this is to start the by. Two point five six. Yeah. So that's the amplitude then. Yes. Okay. That's quite big compared to these numbers, you know. There must be a 10 to the minus in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Two point five six is the same power as minus two. Yeah. That's important for me to know. <laughs> <laughs> is there any powers on this one? No. Um, so if I imagine it's starting from the center and goes <coughs> up and comes back down, what I need to do basically is get the time taken to reach here and to reach here. So using the formula um, S equals A sine omega T, I basically have the max problem where I need to solve these two equations, plus or minus 2 times 10 to the minus 2 equals 2.56 times 10 to the minus 2 sine omega, and I can work the omega, omega out. Omega is uh, 0 0.33. No, 13.19, sorry. 13.19? Yeah. Okay. And the amplitude is okay. Now, the thing is, you have two equations, right? And each equation has how many answers, if we're just looking at the one period? Two. two. So how many answers do I have here? Four. So you get four answers here when you solve this, which you can solve from tax class. But the question is, how do you, which answers do you take? Well, you have two answers from the plus case and two answers from the minus case, and you will have to subtract them because you're going from this time to this time. But it's not clear which ones to subtract, and they don't make it clear in the question because it depends on if the particle went up, down, here, down, here, or if it went up and you're looking at this time, and then down, and it could even be as much as this, which is a much bigger time, even though it's the same distances. So you'll get, uh, you'll basically have four answers 
because you'll have two times here. Let me just call it A and B, C and D. So you could look at, uh, these times will be bigger. So you could look at C minus A, C minus B, D minus A, D minus B. You have four answers. They don't make it clear which answer to take, but I suspect it'll be whatever is the smallest of the four answers. Yeah. Now this is kind of a tricky question for four marks, and I'll probably do it out fully next time, but I just want to give you the outline of what way to think about it. Maybe you can get the answer now this way. But I will do this one next time. Okay, definitely wrap it up.